Hey guys, it's Emily. Welcome to Posey Lane. So today is our final episode, episode three in our series for Alice in Wonderland. And we've been making different party decorations for an Alice in Wonderland themed party. In the first episode, we did like a white rabbit and we did a little vignette where we made some other things to go with him. And last episode, we made a wall hanging with playing cards to decorate our wall. And today we're going to be making something for like the main table. And it's gonna be kind of like a centerpiece for it. And when I thought about what I would want in the middle of the table, I immediately thought about the scene in Alice in Wonderland where they're painting the roses red. When I was little, I had the Disney Channel off and on because it was like a paid thing that you had. And when I did have it though, they would put on just like little clips from Alice in Wonderland. And one of those clips is where she is painting the roses red with the cards. And they'd actually put in white roses when they were supposed to be planting red roses. So they're trying to paint them red so that the Queen of Hearts won't get mad at them because she gets furious and it's off with your head if she finds out that you did something wrong. So I always loved that clip and I was always sad when I realized it was just the clip and it wasn't the full movie of Alice in Wonderland. And so today we're going to be making a centerpiece where we're painting these white roses red and I think it's gonna come out really cute and I can't wait for you to join me. For our centerpiece, we're going to need white roses. And I found these white roses at Hobby Lobby. I love how open and full they are. I think the fact that they're open will make it easier to actually paint on. And I feel like three of them looks really full and will be enough for the centerpiece. We also need a vase to put it in and I'm just using a bud vase. And I like the way like the shape of this is. I found this at the thrift store and really you can use any bud vase that you can find at the thrift store or maybe you have one on hand but a bud vase will work because you only have three blooms. You don't need that wide of an open mouth on your vase. Then we also need to paint them. And so I have red paint to paint them red. And I also have this slick red paint that I'm gonna use to try to give it maybe like a wet effect so it kind of looks like the paint's still wet. Because they are being caught in the act of painting the roses red, I thought it would be fun to have a paintbrush that we paint with red paint to make it look like they kind of dropped it and were caught. The last thing that I'm going to use is just some playing cards from the deck that I also used for the wall hanging, just to kind of lay out to fill in the spaces and make the table just look more full and decorated. And that's all we need to get started, so let's go. We are now going to paint a paintbrush, which is a little weird because it's a paintbrush. We wanted to make it look like they were caught in the act and they were in the middle of painting. So we're just going to put paint at the end. And I use the same red that I'm going to paint the roses with to paint the paintbrush. To start out, I decided I should just do a base paint of the red on the tip, just so that it looks like I had dipped the brush into paint, even though I'm not actually dipping it. And I did notice that I needed to get all the edges and on the very tip kind of go down into the paint to make sure all the bristles had red and none were left white. Once I had gotten the base color of all the red and there was no white showing, I started to do some drips and drops on the paintbrush just to add some more detail. This may not be how a paintbrush would look if I actually had dipped it in paint, but I thought it would be more aesthetically pleasing if it had little drips on it. I did a really simple just painting of the actual paintbrush, just going straight in with the acrylic paint. But I have seen um, Mariah Elizabeth do like a really extensive, more detailed job on a paintbrush before that was really neat. So if you wanna do something a little bit more detailed, you could check out Mariah Elizabeth. now time to paint the roses red and I love how pretty these white roses are I got the whitest white they had at the store and I did pick the more open flower because I thought it would be easier to get down in there and get it painted and I just started with a true red in the middle and just started kind of dabbing it on and literally painting the roses red my strategy when I was painting was kind of like if they were caught in the act and they were doing this quickly there would be some places where there wasn't paint and it was left white. There would be some kind of brush strokes left and things would kind of look messy. 
So I allow myself to kind of be messy when I was doing this and to leave parts white and not paint everything. I ended up after I did a little bit of it with a smaller brush, taking a bigger brush because I realized it would go a lot quicker if I had a bigger brush and just let myself be a little bit more messy and a little less like precise with painting it. And I just rotated it around painting the tops of different petals and the bottoms of other petals and just really making it look like I had literally painted the roses red. I have never painted a silk flower before and maybe you've never painted one too. So I wanted to test this first and I know I didn't really video this, but I took a cheaper rose that was like left over from a project where I had made the heart wall decor, if you've seen that video. And I had a leftover rose from that and I just used the acrylic paint on that to make sure that the silk rose wasn't going to soak up too much paint and also that I really liked the way it looked and had the right effect. Once I liked what I had done with the acrylic paint, I went back with red slick paint and a paintbrush and just did the edges and rims of some of the petals with that paint because that kind of dries like with a glossy look. So I thought it would kind of give a wet effect like they were still painting them and it was still wet when this was left. I did all three flowers a little bit different than the other one. No two were exactly the same because if they were doing this in a rush, I know I keep saying this, but they probably would have all of them been different anyway. So some of them are more painted than other ones and I like the way that effect looks. When I was thinking about Alice in Wonderland and different ideas to do for this series, I started thinking about all the different things I had watched as a kid for Alice in Wonderland. And I, me and my husband both started thinking about this TV show that we used to watch on the Disney Channel called Adventures in Wonderland. And in it, Alice will have like a problem that she has and she goes through a mirror to Wonderland and the different characters in Wonderland help her solve whatever problem it is that she has. And it was so awesomely 90s. She usually had a huge bow and like bedazzled clothes. And I always wanted to dress just like her. And I think the White Rabbit had um, blades, roller blades, that he would be skating on the whole time as he was bringing messages. And I think the Red Queen um, was a little bit nicer in those, but I just loved watching those. They usually played right before I had to go to school. So it was what I could watch on TV before I had to go to school. And we were talking about it with our kids and then we found it on Disney Plus. So we were able to play a little bit of it for them and have a flashback. So if you remember that show and you wanna just see a little flashback of it, go to Disney Plus and watch it for yourself. My question for you is who else has the song Paint the Roses Red stuck in their head as I'm painting these? I totally had the song from the movie, we're painting the roses red, we're painting the roses red, like stuck in my head the whole time. And unfortunately, I don't even know all the songs. So I just had that little part stuck in my head, like on repeat over and over as I was painting this. The flowers have dried now, so I'm going to put them in the vase. And I love the way like, it still kind of looks wet like the paint does because I use the puffy paint. And each flower has a little bit of different amount of paint because you know, if they were rushing to paint these, they wouldn't all be perfect and they'd all be a little bit different. And so when I'm gonna put them in the vase, I'm gonna hold them kind of the way I want them. So one's gonna be taller than another one and then the, another one's gonna be even shorter. So they're gradually a little bit shorter. And when I cut, I'm gonna be using wire cutters and what I'll do to figure out the height is just measure it to the actual vase and then figure out where I'm wanting to cut. So normally I just do it like this, but I want y'all to be able to see what I'm talking about. So let me measure it now. And what I love about like flowers like this is because there is like metal in it I can kind of bend it to make it look a little bit more natural because a a real flower isn't like perfectly straight you know if you think about it their stems never like completely straight now let me measure the next one and now the last one planning to put this in the center of my dining table 
and have other things around it, but just to show you what I'm planning to do. I have this vase that will be in the middle and then I'll set this brush that's dry just kind of next to it just to make it look like, you know, they were painting it. And then I'm gonna take some playing cards, the same ones that I'm using in the wall hanging that I made in my last video. And I'm just going to set some of them around and kind of fill out the table just to kind of fill in spaces where maybe it's blank, kind of like you would if you had like confetti or something like that and just lay them out around. Maybe make sure I get a face card or two and have different colors and different suits laying out. And that will be the centerpiece for my decorations. I've loved making every single one of these videos in this series. I love Alice in Wonderland and I love the way all this looks all put together with the white rabbit and the drink me potion and then painting the roses red with the cards and this paintbrush and then behind me with this wall hanging and all the cards it looks so good all put together i had so much fun making all of this and thank you guys so much for joining me for all of the videos and for this video i can't wait for our next craft i'm gonna have so much fun